So one of the explanations that I heard is that the Malachim, what do the Malachim represent? Why are we so into Malachim? And the answer is that the Malachim are the ones, you know, we always say Malachim don't have um, Bechira, they don't have free choice. Is the Pshat that they don't have free choice? Or is the Pshat that they don't have free choice? <laughs> what do I mean by that? In other words, is it the Pshat that free choice was taken away from them? And therefore they just don't have it? Or they saw the clarity. They saw the Shechina. So by default, I'd say they don't have free choice anymore because they saw the Shechina already. So really, maybe they do have free choice. But now that they saw the clarity, there's no more free choice. Why can't we do mitzvahs in the next world? Why is there no, like, isn't the Noichi Hashem like one of the mitzvahs? So in the next world, the Gemara says, we're all sitting around Hashem, all the tzaddikim, pointing to Hashem. So that's a Noichi. Well, why is it not a mitzvah? So why can't we have mitzvahs in the next world? The answer is, there's no Bechira. Why is there no Bechira? Why is there no free choice? Because we see Hashem. <laughs> When you see Hashem, then you don't have questions on anything. There's no like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? There's no free will anymore. The most valuable thing on earth is free will. And we don't have that if we see Hashem. The Malachim see Hashem. Shalom Malachim Malachi Asharis. One of the reasons why we greet the Malachim is because we're saying, today is the day that the lights are on. Today is the day that we also see Hashem, that we finally realize and we know that everything that goes on in life, everything that happens in life is all Hashem. And there's a plan here. And there's a cheshben to everything. There are billions and billions and billions of cheshbenes. And we realize that on Shabbos, if we utilize Shabbos properly, and we sit down and we talk about Hashem, and we learn all the chazals, and we learn about what Shabbos is about, that's the ner, the 250, all the shemes Hashem, the inner mavadei. And, and then we can be mekadosh shem Then we have kiddush. What's kiddush? To be mekadosh shem shemayim. Hashem, you created the world. It's so clear to us. And this is something that really has to be, uh, we, we got to really contemplate this and think about it and talk about it because there's really nothing but Hashem. There's really nothing in the world but Hashem and that's the purpose of everything we do to build a connection with the Ebeshter and to be ambassadors of the Ebeshter and to be Mekadosh Hashem Shemayim. That's it. Hashem, I'm doing this because I want to make your name great. This is not for me. This is for you. Everything that we do in life should be to make a Kiddush Hashem. I walk outside I see this person, that's my, everything, it to be Mekadish, Shem, Shemayim. So Rabbi said, let's try to tap into the light of Shabbos. That was very brief. That was very brief, and you should check it up yourself in the Rapinka Sefer. Nefesh Shimshin, Shabbos Kaidesh. But uh, it's, it's just so important to realize that Shabbos is that light. What's the light? It's the clarity. The clarity of what? The clarity that Enu Levade, that everything is Hashem. Okay, let's do one.